Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. Wow, we're in the romantic month, February. Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm going to make you a great Valentine's dinner tonight. I am the author of Rosalie Serving, Best Loved Italian, and Rosalie Serving Country. And tonight we are going to make something out of our Best Loved Italian cookbook. Okay, so we're going to get started. I think tonight we're going to make uh, chicken parmigiana over linguine with some marinara sauce. It's going to be so good. I know your honey's going to love this dinner. Okay, so over here in our electric skillet, I have a small onion, chopped it all up, and about uh, two cloves of my minced garlic right here. And so, uh, and I put the olive oil in there, and that would be about a couple of tablespoons. So what you want to do is you want to just get that going real good and let it marry each other in this wonderful olive oil before we add our tomatoes and the rest of our uh, ingredients. So marinara sauce is always good. You can use it for everything. Use it over your eggplants or your cauliflower or over your veal chops. So good. Or over a little pasta. So tonight we're going to make this wonderful marinara sauce. And you can see now how that's just going together really good in our pan. We want to add to that um, a 15 ounce can of our diced tomatoes and then we're going to add our um, herbs right over the tomatoes so that it'll all get in there really good. Okay, we're going to be back. Let this cook about five minutes. See you in a minute. Bye. All right, so here we are. You can see how nice that uh, looks. It's all translucent in there and golden. And that's been about three minutes. So now what we want to do is we're going to add our 15 ounce can of our tomatoes right in there. And this is the time when you want to add all of your good seasonings so that it will grab right onto those tomatoes. So you're going to start with your basil. You want about a half a teaspoon, so we're going to just sprinkle that right in there. And then you want um, a few of your red pepper flakes. Not many, but maybe like uh, a fourth of a teaspoon right in there. We're just eyeboiling this today. And then we want two teaspoons of our sugar, and we will measure that out. The sugar is really good for the fresh uh, tomatoes in here, fresh canned tomatoes, I should say. And uh, you can see how that's now that just grabbing right on there. Looks so good. You want to add a little salt and pepper, about a fourth teaspoon of your coarse pepper here. And then about a half a teaspoon of your salt. And you can see how that now just really going in there good together. Okay, so we're going to let that just simmer about two or three minutes, and then we're going to add our uh, Kitchen Basics chicken stock to this. Be back in a second. You're going to love this. All right, so, whoo, <laughs> hope you didn't see that. Lost a little bit of my Kitchen Basics chicken stock there. All right, so you want about a half a cup now of this good, rich chicken stock. And this is really the best, Kitchen Basics. Put that right in there with your uh, nice oil, your onions, garlic, and the tomatoes with your seasonings. We'll set this back over here. And to that, we're going to add now a can of our tomato sauce. We'll just put that right in there. This is a really fast marinara sauce. doesn't take much time at all. And it's just a wonderful complement for a lot of your Italian dishes. All right. So while we let that simmer together, you want a small can of your paste. And we're going to go ahead and use all of this tonight. Sometimes I just tell you to use about three-fourths of a can. But we're going to use all of this tonight because we are going to make our chicken parmigiana over linguine. We want a lot of sauce to put in there for our linguine. So we're going to go ahead and use all of that right in there. And this will melt right in. Just use your slotted spoon and just start melting that right in there. Okay, this is almost done. Give that about 10 more minutes of nice, slow simmer. 10 to 15 minutes and you've got your marinara sauce. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, this is delicious. Smells so good. Okay guys, so now we've just washed hands in between our marinara sauce. And let me show you how that looks. It's on low, and it's on the stove, and it's simmering beautifully. All right, we're going to go on now to our chicken parmigiana. And we have here 
about seven to eight breasts. I have cut those in half and they are frozen, but I have uh, thawed them. They always seem to work so nicely for me. I love those. And so now what we have here is we've got, um, I believe it's a cup of flour and we've got a third cup of our Parmigiana cheese. We're just going to mix that all together really good. Put a little salt and pepper in there. I have uh, put my trusty little, um, I love my garlic salt with the parsley added, the coarse garlic salt. We've put those all over our uh, breast. And so now we're going to go ahead and move this in here. We've got a little salt and pepper, and that would be about a half of a, a teaspoon to a fourth of your nice ground black pepper. All right, over in this bowl, we've got three beaten eggs. And what we're going to do is we're going to flour these nice breast here and we're going to put them into, dip them into our olive oil. This is about, about a cup of olive oil in there. Maybe not quite so much, three-fourths. And then what you're going to do now is just go ahead and lift these breasts right into the egg. And just give them a little bit of a, a couple of fork indentions in there so that they will take up your nice flour and your cheese. Dip them in really good, bread them nicely, and lay them right into the olive oil. You're going to cook these two to three minutes on each side, and then we're going to put our lid on there so that we uh, steam them up very nicely. We want a nice golden crust on these chicken breasts. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish these, wash hands, and then get back onto our rest of our recipe going to be so good. Your husband's going to love it. Chicken Parmigiana over linguine. All right. Okay, here's your beautiful chicken. And now we're going to reach over here and we're going to grab a lid. And I can find it. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here's our lid. Here's our beautiful chicken. It has been crusted on one side. As you can see, you turn them over. Put your lid on. And now you want to turn your electric skillet down to about 200 and just let that steam up for about 10 minutes and they'll be so juicy inside. And then we'll arrange them, okay? Wash hands again in between your uh, chicken handling and then we're going to go ahead and assemble this. All right. Actually, one more thing. Uh, we've got linguine. Actually, I have here some thick spaghetti, which will work also. I didn't have some linguine today, but this will work fine. You've got your boiling water right here. Let's just put our pasta right into there and give it a good stir and cook that while we are cooking our, um, our Parmesan. All right, turn your oven on to 350. See you in a minute. Bye. All right, now so how looking beautiful these uh, beautiful breasts are. They're perfectly uh, seasoned here. And they're, this has been about, I'd say, 10 to 12 minutes round trip here about three to four minutes on each side, and then another um, eight to ten minutes to just steam them with the lid on. So you want to cover the bottom of your pan with your breasts right here, and then you want to come over, get your marinara sauce. Now if you have a large family, you could double this, it would be fine. Um, you might have to make just a little bit more of your marinara, but I think this will be fine. So now you want to take your marinara that's steaming hot, and just place it right over your chicken breast here. Just like so. Okay? And you're gonna pop these in the oven and you've got a, a nice layer there. Come over here and you can lay uh, Provel cheese, just uh, slices on each one. But if you have some real Provel rope that I have, go ahead and use that because this is the real thing and it's so good. It melts in there. I also got a little bit of shredded mozzarella in there with it. So you want to go ahead and cover that. Don't be afraid. Just use all of that cheese because this is where you're really going to get your flavor here. Okay, we're going to turn our pan down here. And now you're going to go ahead with your, this is your Parmesan. So go ahead and put that right over the top. Oh my goodness, guys, this is going to be so good. You can use another cup, cup a cup to a cup and a half of your Parmesan, but I think this is very nice. And you're going to pop that in the oven at 350 now for eight minutes, just enough to get this nice and melted. All right, come back for the finishing touches. going to be so good. You'll love it. 
Okay guys, so we're ready to get out our, our chicken parmigiana right here. Oh my goodness, it is steaming and beautiful. And we're ready for our pasta dish right here. And as I've told you many, many times, you can just lift this pasta right out of the pan and put it right into your designated bowl. And that way you're not going to lose any of that good starch that's all in there because that's going to give your dish a very, very good flavor. Now this is a pound. It should serve four to six people. And as I said, on your, um, your chicken breast, you can give either one or two at a serving. Some people like to go ahead and give the two. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and get all of this good pasta right out of here. And this happens to be the thick spaghetti. I really love it for this dish. You might want to stick around with just a little bit of your pasta sauce right there. Okay, you want to come on over here. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off. We don't want an, an explosion. Okay, hold on just a second. I think I'll be back in just a minute. Let me get my wherewithal here. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so we're going to add our beautiful marinara sauce right to this pasta. And remember, you have quite a bit left here that has uh, that you made earlier. So you've got a nice, a nice amount here. So just put that right in with your pasta. Stir that around. You still have a little bit left if you want to top some of your dishes with that. Okay, and what you want to do now is you're going to make up your individual plates right here. I don't think we're going to need any more of our pasta water at this time. It looks like we've got a good distribution, but I wouldn't throw it away. Put it over back here on your sink. You may want that later if uh, you still have some left over and it gets a little dry. Okay, you're going to make up your plate now and just go ahead and use your, your pasta right in the middle there. A nice dollop. This should be, like as I said, four to six people here. Okay, and that looks like a good amount. You might want just a tiny bit more. I don't know how big of eaters you all are. All right, as I said, you can come over here, get a little bit more of your sauce, put it right there. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift out <clears throat> two of your Parmigiana wonderful, beautiful breast right here. All right, and there is your beautiful dish. You want to add maybe just a little bit of your parsley to give a little bit of color. And there you are. Happy Valentine's Day. This is a beautiful dish. I know you're going to love it. And remember, you've got plenty of sauce. Always add a little bit more if you want to right around the edges here. Look how pretty, guys. You can add your little um, pepper if you'd like to. And I'm not going to eat out of this plate. It's just too pretty. So you hold on. I'm going to get me a little tiny plate right here because I have to have a little taste of this linguine. All right. All right, actually, this is the little bit thicker pasta we have here. Okay. Wow, this is just looks so good. All right, guys, hold on. Oh, my goodness. You're going to love it. So good. All right. And remember... You've got your extra Parmigiana cheese right here. And you do want to give a little bit of your sprinkle. All right, guys. Happy Valentine's. This is just too beautiful. See you the next time at www.rosalieserving.com. Happy Valentine's, everybody. Love you. Come again.